คิดว่าพยาของพยาพังแน่เลยน้ำจะตัดหนักไหมอ่ะ Now she seems to already have the pieces cut yeah. uh, to their size. Um, and I'll try to uh, measure this stuff later. But basically, you can see that there's a pattern, you know, a pattern print on one side. And right, yep. And on the other um, is like some white felt or whatever, cotton maybe. I, I'm not really sure. We can look into that a little later. Um, but she just basically takes these pieces and stitches them together. And this is called a flying M something. Um, I, it's actually, I'm not even sure if it's electric. I think she's got a pedal down below there. Like it's an old singer with one of those. And um, so, I mean, this is pretty down and dirty. It's not, um, not really all that complicated. You know, you have the... The piece is cut. And, oh yeah, there you go. And, uh, right. And if you just like maybe put this together and sew them up, that'd be you know really good. Um, oh, yeah, she's obviously there's some you know issues to attend to and make sure everything's cool. So she's now um, about to sew the. Um, the felt stuff mm. onto the back of the pattern. This pattern particularly is kind of like a leopard print thing. Look at that. Yeah, yeah, I think this thing is. No, it's not electric. It was part. It was pedal operated. The pedal is down here. Um, well, maybe it's electric. I I can't really tell. Yeah, there seems to be a motor on it, so it is electric. Yeah, but it's feeding very yeah, little. Right. Can you do it again? Yeah, that'd be great. Yeah, and then I'm just gonna try and pull those together here. Um, and again, I, I just know that, you know, if anyone, you know, I, I, I hear that these are being sold in the United States for ridiculous sums of money. That's, uh, I, I, that's great for the artisans who make them. Um, but the idea that everyone needs to spend 30 or 40 bucks, 20 bucks, I mean, even $20 is a lot of money to spend when you can just get these remnants. Remnants are... You can walk into a fabric store and buy rain and so on. So, um, you, right, yeah, right. And so could you stitch that one up? Can you stitch this? Can you put this one together? Yeah, put that one together. Yeah, just put it together. Make it, yeah, so, 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 can you, can you stitch it together? Can you? Yes, exactly. Okay, okay. So, I mean, again, <laughs> language barriers have to do in one take, no video editing equipment. I mean, again, you know, lots of things in life are quick and dirty. A lot of things are DIY, do it yourself. And that is basically, you know, what we're driving across here in, 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 these, uh, in these types of projects is basically that, yeah, if you think you need a big old salary and everything to like be a journalist, uh, I got news for you, you don't. You just, you just need to get out into your community and make stuff. Mm. Uh, same holds true for what I feel about the kitchen of Darwin, which is that, you know, we can come up with our own solutions and not have to wait for, you know, men in lab coats to figure everything out for us. Um, you know, again, this idea that, you know, you need an N95 that's perfect and blah and that the federal government gives to you and all this stuff is, is really counterproductive. Um, because as we can see right here, um, where I don't know, but I, I think oh, the average, oh, sure, the average wage here is, I don't know, maybe, uh, maybe it's something like $14,000 a year or something. I mean, it's just not very much money, um, but it is here because it is cheaper. Um, and again, you can talk to your own government as to why it is that everything's so expensive in the U.S. and everything's cheaper here. I mean, it doesn't take as much money to uh, do the things that we do, you know, food, clothing, shelter. It just doesn't take as much as the billions and trillions of dollars that we spend on fucking everything in America. But that's a whole other story of economics that I can get into right now. Look at this. Here we go. We've got motion here. All kinds of motion. This is um, the woman who was seated before is the one who uh, I spoke with originally. This is her mom, and, and her the granddaughter's over here, and sort of, she knows actual like English, so we've been actually sort of conversing. 
and then I put everything through the Thai translator, but I, I can't work on the Thai translator and shoot video at the same time. So, you know, I mean, again, you, you do what you can with what you have. And, and that is really, again, a very key message as to how to deal with the issues of coronavirus is we do what we can with what we have every single day. Um, if you wish to, you know, be freaked out about what's going to happen next week, uh, this is the wrong, you know, this is the wrong global disaster for you. You need to be thinking about today. Uh, do I have food, clothing, shelter, uh, clothing, uh, medicine, family, friends, and love every day? That's all you really have to worry about uh, because today is the only day we have because we all live in the now and blah, 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 and you can read Baba Ram Dass on that. Sorry, my throat is dry because I'm in the tropics. I can outside of that. Um, so, so you can see this one's moving right along here. I'm coming up on uh, six and a half, six minutes on, on Facebook. And I, I know that there are limitations on Facebook and I want to make sure that we get this. I mean, you can see this is, I mean, you know, this is fairly plug and play. Uh, my friend uh, Lenny Hoffman, who I'm sure can do this in his sleep, uh, his sons have also could probably do this in his sleep. Um, you know, using a sewing machine, um, you know, it's not something I know how to do, uh, but certainly it's something that everyone, you know, who's crafty, uh, could learn pretty fast. Um, I am real, I don't really work with my hands, other than to write, write things, as everyone knows. But, um, you know, so you can see, this is kind of, you know, it's kind of coming off, you know, it's coming together. It really doesn't take a lot of time. You know, in terms of labor, like someone's like, oh my god, this must have taken her 30 minutes to do. Uh, you know, she only took half an hour working really fast. It's like, I don't know, I've seen people pump these out in about five minutes, honestly. And so this idea that, again, you know, people need to be paid buttloads of money for doing this. I mean, you know, great, if they can get it. Uh, Chanel is starting to put out masks. <laughs> Lord knows what, how much those are going to cost. But I mean, I wouldn't mind a mask like, you know, Chanel. Why not? I mean, you know. If you've got the money to burn, but I don't. And and I don't think most of the people that I know who uh, are going to see this don't have really money to burn. But they certainly can find, I mean, you know, for that felt piece, you could use old pillow cases for the, the pattern itself. There's, God, there's piles of used sheets in the world. I mean, all you have to do is go to a Goodwill. And I mean, you know, so, so again, this idea that, you know, uh, that America, you know, doesn't have masks because the government won't order them. No, the American doesn't have masks because people won't peel themselves away from Netflix and the blame game long enough to make their own fucking masks. And uh, we're, 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 we're looking at you folks now in the USA as the epicenter of a virus that is not going to end quickly. And um, in my view, we're going to eventually have to come rescue the USA because the USA has, eh, you know, wasn't, wasn't the best of all worlds in terms of response to the coronavirus. And I'm going to have her pull this through. Look at her, she's pulling it through. And then I'm going to have to stop because I'll be at very close to nine minutes. And um, yeah, I, I told people that I wouldn't editorialize on this, but obviously I did because I, it's just... You know, anyone can make these things. Uh, Gandhi made his own clothes. Why can't America? <laughs> you know, it's really simple stuff. Um, America can make her own masks. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. Look at that fabulousness. And I probably have to cut tape right here because otherwise. Okay, so what she hasn't done yet is put on the elastics. Uh, maybe I can get something of that uh, later. Everyone, be have a great day today. Bye.